Well, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got some abalone nail foils to share with you. I started this manicure off with Neltix Formula 2 and I've done two coats of China Glaze Let's Jam and I topped it off with such feet. And that is all dry and I'm also going to be using the nail glue and these beautiful nail foils. And I have to thank Nora for turning me on to this and reminding me of it. I had forgotten I even had these until I saw her man or saw her demonstrate this on a thumbnail. I'll link her channel down below. I just cut out some little strips with my little scissors and put the rest of it away. And then I cut these strips in half because my nails are not very long, so I'm able to just cut them in half and it'll cover the whole nail. here we go. I'm going to add a thin but good coverage uh, layer of this nail foil glue. You want to make sure to get all the way to the sides and the top and wrap your tips because anywhere you don't put glue, the nail foil won't stick. And that's why I also like to use a color that kind of resembles whatever nail foil I'm using. That way if it doesn't stick somewhere, it's not near as noticeable. And I am going to try to keep it cleaned up around my cuticles as well because I don't really want a whole lot of nail foil stuck there. And I let this nail foil glue dry for about, I don't know, seven to eight minutes after I applied it just to let it dry down good where it wasn't too wet, but it's definitely still tacky at that point. You don't want to touch anything fuzzy or pet a dog or <laughs> anything like that with this glue on your fingernails. And I had been wanting to do some abalone nails for a while and this totally took care of that need. wood stick handy. Here we go. We're going to do this last little fingernail. And now they are they are all dry. And I'm just going to lay it over the top and mush it down with my finger and rub it really well. And that's just to kind of get it started. And then I'm going to use my cuticle pusher just to kind of rub all around the nail. All the way around it, up near the side walls, back by the cuticle down by the tip and there you go it pretty much just pops off when you get all of all of it stuck that's sticking and I'm just going to repeat that process on all of my nails I've already done my thumb I had to practice before I got on camera to do it <laughs> and this little cuticle pusher works great for me for this application I um, really do like how well it works. I can get down in all the little nooks and crannies around my cuticles and sidewalls and everything. And always make sure you, to do your tip real well. It's easy to do kind of in the middle of your nail, but ta-da! There we go. But I always have trouble myself getting all the way down on the tip real well, so I try to make sure to focus on that a little bit better because I know that I've missed that spot many times on other manicures so and you're just rubbing it all in making it all stick as you can see I'm really working that tip trying to make sure I get it and I believe I got these nail foils from either Born Pretty or AliExpress I'm not really sure there's the next one. But these are some of the most gorgeous nail foils I've ever played with. I just love them. Well, it almost looks like granite or something on your nails. And I know it looks like I'm just going crazy on it. I have sped this up a little bit. Um, I don't want y'all thinking I'm just, you know, speed demon and all that, but 
And I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup before I do my top coating. I'm just using a little bit of um, Zoya nail, nail Zoya Remove Plus nail polish remover. And I'm just going around the edges with my cleanup brush just to clean up any, you know, loose straggler pieces that I don't want getting wrapped up in my top coat. And I love these. These are hands down one of my favorite manicures I've worn lately. And I've worn a lot, so <laughs> that's really saying something. There we go. They're just gorgeous. I'm going to top this off with a water-based top coat first, and then I'll use a regular top coat here in a little bit. And this is the little Undyne water-based top coat. Making sure to wrap the tips. And you're going to want to do this because a lot of times foils will crinkle if you put just a regular top coat on them, or especially fast dry top coats. And using the water-based ones, you kind of get it sealed before you put your other top coat on. I always put another top coat on, number one, because I'm kind of freaky like that, but I also do it because water-based top coats, for me, they just don't seem to dry down as quick or as good, and I also have trouble with them kind of washing off and wanting to peel up, so I like to use a regular top coat over top of them. That's just a personal preference and gel polish would work really good for this too and you know if you wanted to do it you know a gel top coat make sure it's all nice and dry and then do a gel top coat then you wouldn't have to use a water-based one but I absolutely love it so I'm gonna let this dry for a bit and then now we're gonna top it off with some pure ice girl on the run I'm gonna be rather generous with my top coat here I want it to just have such a glass-like glass, glass -like top on, on that manicure. And another visit from Mr. Orangewood Stick. And I love how you can see up at the top of my pointer finger right there where the brush just was, the foil didn't stick very well, but that, that polish that I used underneath that had that reddish pink opalescent look to it and it just worked perfectly for this manicure to cover up my boo-boos or to uncover my boo-boos whichever and it just works great there we go all top coated and butamous <clears throat> and just so you know how much I love this manicure, I had something different on my other hand, and as soon as I got done filming this, I took the other manicure off and put this on both hands. It is just that gorgeous. There we go. And here's my still photo. I hope you like this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Always love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.